I'm all alone in my hotel room. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, Christmas is over, year is over, but that doesn't mean we have to stop going out. So, uh, today's video then is a quick makeup power routine, and I've made it for winter because we are way off the spring yet. And uh, it's using products that I use all the time. So it's not products that I've been sent or products that I've been asked to use. These are genuine products that I use. And you can probably tell because some of the writing's worn off the, uh, the actual products. And um, it is doable in 15 minutes, as long as you have the items out in front of you. So it doesn't include rifling through drawers to find them. Okay, I'm with that mistake. So sit back, grab a cuppa, don't know about you, but I'm not finished with the hot chocolate yet. And uh, take a watch. So I always begin them by moisturising and I'm using the number 7 Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Day Cream just to give myself a nice smooth base to begin with and I then use the number 7 Colour Calming Primer. Now this just helps even out my skin tone and I just apply it obviously using my fingers. Then I use the Revolution Conceal and Define. I put it on using the applicator that comes with it. This is in a shade F5. And I then blend it in, just using my Beauty Blender. Um, this is just one that I picked up from Primark make sure that you blend it in right up to the hairline. Try not to drag the skin too much around the eyes where it's thinner because uh, that can contribute towards fine lines. But just make sure that you get a nice even coverage. And make sure that you also work your way down the neck. Next then I use a concealer and this one is the uh, crayon concealer, it's true match. And it just covers any blemishes and under the eyes where it might be a little bit darker. This one is in shade 30, which is beige. And then again, just blend it in with a beauty blender. Don't worry too much if it's gathered a little bit under the eyes because it helps when you're putting your eyeshadow on just to have a little bit extra coverage there that you can then take off. So I then highlight and I'm using um, a highlighter, um, it's almost like a crayon this one, I think it's a um, boots one. It's called Speedy Highlighter in Pearl Sheen. And I pop that in the usual place, this one on the forehead, under the eyes and the cheekbones. And I'm then shading with the Revolution Conceal and Define. This one is in shade C12.5 and I then use brush just to blend the two in. Now this is a double edged brush, one side is thicker, one side is thin. And I'm going to be using both ends for today's makeup tutorial. So if you haven't got one of these, pick one up. As this is a speedy makeup routine, you will probably need to use the brush after because I'm going to use it quite a lot. So again, just making sure that everything is blended in and there are no lines. So the highlight there, as you can see, is just in the areas where light would naturally catch your face. And then I use a loose powder. I don't use a lot of it. Um, but this is Revolution, uh, Makeup Revolution in Banana. And I then move on to a powder highlighter. And this one is uh, Revolution again. 
Highlighter palette. And I'm just using a darker one there just to accentuate the cheekbones. And again, then I'm just using a soft brush to blend that in. That it is still a little bit white under the eyes, but I will be correcting that later. Be careful not to use too much under the eyes, especially if you are older, because it can collect and actually make any fine lines worse. So then I'm using a bronzer, which is the Kool's uh, Wild Rose Compact Powder. You are the stranger in the corner on the second floor You're the girl next door And for my eyebrows I'm using the HD uh, palette What I do first is I brush them up So that does look a little bit untidy at the moment But it's just brushing them up where they would um, fall naturally And then I'm going to fill in spaces Just to give them a thicker look Because my eyebrows were plucked years ago into quite thin eyebrows so they haven't really grown back thick, though they do grow back where I don't want them to grow back. Um, I have had um, my eyebrows microbladed before, but they have faded a little bit, so they've got even topping off. Um, I then move on to eyeshadow, and uh, what I'm using is actually the Glitter Obsessed palette from Primark. So again, not an expensive one, it's a cream eyeshadow which I think uh, just goes on easier, especially if you've got older skin. So I'm putting a light shadow all over the eyelid and socket, right up to just below the brow. And then going in to the eyelid with a darker shade, right up to the crease just above leaving an area of a lighter eyeshadow to the top mini bar i wonder what you're up to i shouldn't call you up i know your number by heart i see you wherever and then using another brush just to blend it in And then where I've just gone a little bit high, I'm using the uh, same brush that I did the um, foundation and concealer coverage in, just to uh, clean that up a bit. And then back in, just over the lid with the darker shade, just to accentuate that lid. Tell me isn't that crazy, just wanna call you. Then just using that uh, blending brush again just to blend it in a little bit more so it's not too harsh so if you notice I'm taking the uh, light a bit downwards so I don't drag the heavy colour upwards and again you can see where I've just got over the edges there so you use the other end of your brush the cleaner end just to uh, go over that this is a good way to uh, achieve cat size as well if you want to do the same once you put your eyeliner on then I'm going for a much lighter eyeshadow again, just to highlight, so it's not a flat colour there on the lid. Then you want to go right into the centre there, not taking it all the way to the edge of the eye. So it's dark shadow, it might take a couple of applications of the lighter eyeshadow. Then I'm just going over it with a highlighter from the kit that I mentioned before, that's the soap from Makeup Revolution. And then I'm using a powder liner, and this is uh, just one of the colours from the HD Brow Kit, to be honest. I'm all alone in my hotel room. 
I'm getting drunk on booze. You can use a liquid liner if you prefer. But a powder liner is less harsh, and you can blend it in a little bit more if you don't want that uh, just bold line. Which again, on more mature skin, can sometimes look a bit harsh. Uh, and I'm going into the corners there with the highlighter as well just to make the eyes pop out a little bit more and of course on with the mascara it's just a boots mascara uh, the number seven lovely lashes a couple of coats of that on the second coat always make sure that you brush upwards on the upper lid just to open the eye out And then I'm lining the lip there again with a Boots number no. 7 in Plum. And then filling it in with the shade isn't that dissimilar. This is a Clarins uh, Spicy Cinnamon 737. And then to finish, I'm just going over everything with a thick makeup brush. And this is where you can blend it in a little bit more under the eye because any loose powder um, that's come from any of your eyeshadows or mascara or anything like that, you can remove it. So then just to finish off the hair, to take it down, and just give it a hairspray because my hair is naturally curly, it does tend to uh, frizz off a bit. So just to smooth it down to get rid of the curls. And there we go. Now to do your winter makeup look in 15 minutes. Thanks for watching this video guys. And uh, I will see you in the next one. If you do have any makeup looks that you want me to give a tutorial on, do comment in the box below. And uh, I'll try my best to do those for you. If you've enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up and make sure I'm you're subscribed to my, my YouTube room. channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I shouldn't call you up and know your number by heart. I see you wherever I go. And you don't even know. You are the stranger in the corner on the second. Still I dream of